What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. I'm telling you right now, guys, I am extremely hyped, excited. I am so excited to see these earnings. We've been waiting for this bank charter forever. Be sure to smash the like button. If you think SoFi is going to have an amazing earnings report, be sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get this video over a thousand likes and don't forget to drop a comment. Guys, the wait is over. We are less than 24 hours away. I'm filming this video around four o'clock. The earnings should come out after hours around four. We will also cover some of the earnings and some of the you know movement inside of the market today. But guys, I am extremely excited and I really believe we're going to have a blowout with the bank charter full throttle starting to kick in guys even the next couple of quarters with the guidance should be absolutely insane sofi has no restrictions basically what that bank charter has done for sofi it's given them that stamp of approval to use their deposits and lend out anywhere inside of the nation without any regulations and stuff like that they're already passed all their testing so they couldn't do that they were getting regulated by each and every state individually and it was extremely hard a part of the lending process you also have the partnerships with like a company like pagaya allowing them to lend out even further and deeper into the ecosystem getting these high quality members that they may not be able to get on their own so i'm telling you right now this bank charter is truly going to start kicking in we should see that revenue start to really explode and we should see those losses start to come down because of that cost savings. I believe they're going to still use the exact same marketing plan so we shouldn't see those expenses explode. Stock-based compensation should still be around 70 to $80 million right where it was at uh, last quarter. So let's see, guys. I really want to see those losses come down. If you find any of this information useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will be keeping you updated daily. And I'll give you guys some price predictions on what I think could happen uh, tomorrow. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we can see stocks slip to begin August following their best month since 2020. This is very understandable, guys. We've been crashing for eight months. So we had a really good month uh, last month. And, you know, it looks, looks like today was a flat day. Everyone's trying to absorb the market. I think Nancy Pelosi is doing uh, some type of thing for like uh, semiconductors or something like that. I have no idea. Taiwan. I, I really don't pay attention to that st type of stuff. As you can see here, all major indexes snap three-day winning streaks. SP 500 slipping barely half a percent. NASDAQ less than a quarter. And then the uh, Dow Jones shed it. Uh, almost a tenth. So everything was pretty flat today. The SoFi stock finished the day up uh, 0.79%. So almost a percent. Very flat in the after hours. Guys, I really want you guys to see where we're at right now. Okay, market cap. I don't know if this is exactly updated on Yahoo Finance. Market cap's right around five, maybe five and a half billion. Let's just call it five and a half billion. So we are priced around book value right now. Book value is right around five and a half billion. You just take uh, assets minus liabilities and that's just going to give you flat equity value if they try to like liquidate everything so we're at book value that's basically pricing in no growth at all i mean we're getting priced as a legacy bank growing nothing at all turning a small profit that's where they're kind of pricing so far as it's just a profitable no growth bank guys we are growing explosively and these uh, analysts are already coming out saying we're expecting, you know, half a billion dollar profits in the future very soon and potentially a profit in 2023 if this bank charter really works out. So once again, this stock has no growth priced in to this five billion market cap. We'll take a look at some of the big earnings movers today, guys. We have Pinterest up 2% on the day, up 18.8% after hours. Market cap is pretty low on Pinterest from where it was at. I mean, this used to be what, an $80 stock at one point. They're on 13 billion market cap. We could see that they had revenue growth of 9% year over year. So this company's growth has stalled out for four straight quarters. They were doing more uh, revenue, you know, nine months ago. So basically the same exact revenue they've done for a full year. Global active users decreased by 5%. They got 433 million users. It just doesn't look like they can monetize these people. And they lost 20 million plus customers, guys also posted a net income loss of 43 million dollars so literally you know just terrible numbers across the board and because there was such bad expectations 
Pinterest is up almost 20% after hours. I'm telling you right now, guys, SoFi is not going to be putting up any type of numbers like that. 9% growth. We're talking 60% growth could possibly happen. We're going to add another half a million users. And also, we're going to see our losses decline, you know. So, so I'm telling you right now that expectations aren't, you know, out of this world. I really think we're going to blow out our expectations. Another stock that is very interesting we've been covering on our YouTube channel uh, just today. And this is also a partner with SoFi helping their lending business. This is Pagaya, guys. This has been one of the most crazy stocks that I have ever ever seen you have to see this this started off as a ten dollar spec so why i'm covering this guys is i want to tell you guys you just don't know when a stock can start to move okay this company right here is priced at 20 billion dollars and we can see sofi is priced at five billion dollars so pagaya is literally like four times larger than sofi right now this started as a ten dollar spec this stock came all the way down to 242 we can see right here but guys, if we just grab this bottom right here, this stock has exploded. Take a look at this one more time. This stock has exploded 1,000% gain all the way up to 20 billion. So it went from a 2 billion market cap to 20 billion market cap, okay? So I'm not saying that SoFi is gonna 10X, but I'm telling you right now, SoFi could easily, easily triple from here to a 15 billion market cap. It is very, very easy. I'm telling you right now, you do not know what type of, you know, price movement you can get from some of these, uh, you know, hedge funds, investors, guys, this is insane. I know Pagai had some high short interest just like SoFi, but when they let these things go, you can see, you're talking a 10x in literally two weeks, guys. That is absolutely insane. And this is not a company that's priced at a couple hundred million bucks, jumping to 20 billion. So I once again told you guys, I mean, absolute fair value, even in this market. I said SoFi is a $10 billion company. That's around a $12 stock right now, maybe 13. So if we're going to get to, you know, just the valuation of Pagaya, you're talking $26 plus on the SoFi stock right now. So once again, I'm not saying we're going to see the same type of price action. I'm just saying when these big whales want to let something go, they let it go and they load up heavy. So this was an insane price action, guys. $20 billion. I mean, $19 billion, almost a 20. It was over 20 billion market cap today. So that just shows you, I mean, we're supposed to be the big dog. Pagaya has one third of the revenue of SoFi. And you can see just, you just don't know the type of price action you're going to get inside of this market. It can happen at any time. So dollar cost average and remain patient. We have great management in place for SoFi to get this thing movement, especially when those student loans come back on the back end of the year. Now, another reason why you should be, you know, very confident with SoFi's earnings heading up. Take a look at the last 12 months of earnings, guys. We had literally a double beat, a double beat, and a double beat for nine months. And then we had a, you know, a partial EPS miss because of the Galileo deal going through or something like that, which was a couple hundred million dollars. And that's why the EPS had a big loss because they had to pay something to finalize the deal. But guys, you can take a look. Three straight quarters of double beats. And remember, this quarter where they barely beat on revenue and barely beat on EPS, this is the Joe Biden rug pull on the student loans that really killed them in marketing, you know, their game plan and stuff like that. You could see they came back, cut the student loans out, and just look at this, guys. They just did demolish Q1, guys. 15% on the EPS and 13% on the revenue. You could see before Biden rug pulled in Q4, they had nice beats in Q3 as well. So it looks like SoFi's getting even better control of their company understanding you know where the company is headed and i'm telling you right now this is some extremely strong management i posted this on my you know twitter guys and you can see i put the fastest growing bank in the world digital bank we're heading for 10 million users by potentially next year and these are the three big players that you know sofi has brought in I'm anthony noda got brought in by sofi and then he brought in these two players right here we're talking google and USAA. Now, this is very interesting, guys. Think about this. Derek White came over from Google. He was doing the Google Cloud. He took over Galileo Financial Technologies. I believe, yeah, CEO. He is running Galileo Technologies, guys. They're a B2B platform. You know, they're adding uh, 10 million uh, customers per earnings and stuff like that. It's absolutely insane. And then now that they're a bank with the bank charter, they brought over Chad Borton, who was at USAA for like, four or five years or something like that. So they are putting leadership in place. And I put, you know, I didn't put Anthony Noto 
for the Twitter, you know, for his top company. I put the NFL because, you know, that's branding. And he signed the deal with the NFL to get the stadium because he knew the numbers were going to make sense on the marketing in California and stuff like that. So that's why I put NFL at the top for Anthony Noto for branding and stuff like that. So when you take a look at, you know, you got one guy running your technology, you got one guy just running your bank and, you know, financials, and then you got Anthony Noto running the uh, branding process, you know, doing these stadium deals and stuff like that. You have a extremely strong management. And that's just going back to those earnings, guys, where they beat, you know, nine months of earnings. Price action on the day was, you know, pretty flat and red for some of the smaller growth stocks. ChargePoint, Open Door, Twitter, all red, Zscaler, JP Morgan, Apple, Salesforce, and a lot of other companies barely break even green, not even 1%. Amazon, Walmart, Lending Club, Meta, Snowflake, SoFi. If we go to the top, we got the EJF acquisition, that is the Pagaya. And then we have Roku Lemonade up, you know, 6 to 9%, Roblox 5. So it was just a very strange day. Once again, you had some growth, you know, having nice little green days. And then majority of growth having flat and red days. Once again, guys, that is a wrap. We are less than 24 hours away from SoFi earnings. And I'm very confident that SoFi is going to have a strong earnings report and also strong guidance. I'm very excited to look at these numbers. I want to see the Galileo growth. I want to see the bank charter results. I want to see the users added. I want to see the outlook. I'm very excited. Once again, be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Let's try and get this channel up to 15,000 subscribers. Once the new bull market comes back in place, I'm telling you right now, SoFi is going to be a force to be reckoned with, especially when they get those student loans coming back strong. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.